Hi guys, welcome to a, another episode of Cooking with Taylor. So today we are making an apple oat cake. This one will be completely dairy free and it is completely flourless as well. I've got a 12 by 9 pan here. These I got at Walmart. They come with a lid on them because this is going to be given to somebody. So I'm going to set that over there. So you are going to need oats. I get Bob's Red Mill. These are the old fashioned rolled oats. You're going to need some apples. I prefer like um, Fuji or Gala. These are called, let's see, these are the Honey Crisp, which are also good. You're going to need baking powder, baking soda, vanilla extract. The recipe, the original recipe calls for cinnamon, but I use pumpkin spice, pumpkin pie spice. You're going to need honey, two eggs, coconut oil, or butter, but since we're making it dairy-free, I'm using coconut oil, and then yogurt. I am using almond milk vanilla yogurt. So I'm actually going to be doubling this. So if you didn't want to double it, it's one large apple, two eggs, three tablespoons honey, one cup of oats, half teaspoon baking powder, half teaspoon baking soda, one teaspoon cinnamon, one teaspoon of vanilla, one tablespoon of butter or coconut oil, and three tablespoons of yogurt. So since I'm doubling this, it's going to be two apples, four eggs, six tablespoons honey, two cups of oats, one teaspoon baking powder, one teaspoon baking soda, two teaspoons of cinnamon or the pumpkin pie spice, two teaspoons vanilla, two tablespoons of the coconut oil, and six tablespoons of the yogurt, which I need to get the rest of my eggs out. But we're going to put them right into my mixing bowl. So um, we're going to cut up the apples and then we can start getting everybody into the mixing bowl. And here we're just going to rinse off the apples, take the stickers off. I have an apple core. You can get these anywhere. Otherwise, you'll have to do it all by hand. You'll have to cut the apple. And then cut the core out of each of the slices. We're just going to push it through. And there's our core in the center. And we'll do the second one. I've got my oven preheating right now to 350 Fahrenheit or I believe it's 180 Celsius. Yes, 180 Celsius. And now we're gonna get out our knife, which I'm not seeing wine. So I may, oh, here we go. We're gonna get out our knife. And what we're gonna do here is bring our bowl over here, our mixing bowl. But we are going to cut our apple into pieces like this. A little bit thin. If you want them smaller, cut them smaller. But I did them like this and it was great.
So now we've got our apples all cut up. So now we can move on to everybody else. So we've got our eggs. So this is four large eggs. Measuring cups for liquids, dry, and bigger one for the dry. So it is two cups of oats. So let's bring our bag of oats over. Mine only goes up to half a cup, so I have to do that four times. Number two halves makes one cup. Two plus two is four. Yogurt, six tablespoons. And I will eat the rest. Coconut oil, two tablespoons. Let's bring the coconut oil over here. So it is two tablespoons coconut oil, so. Coconut oil is done. Baking powder, baking soda. Baking soda is one teaspoon. Baking powder is also one teaspoon. I got my mini measuring here. So one teaspoon. One teaspoon of baking powder. Pumpkin pie spice. We're going to take the lid off of it. And that is two teaspoons. So, to me, I think this section of it is purely to taste. That's why I do the pumpkin pie spice. Instead of just the cinnamon, I like the fact that, and I just dropped it in the mixing bowl. Guess I'm going to be cleaning that off. Pumpkin pie spice has got cinnamon, nutmeg, allspice, ginger, and cloves. And we've got two teaspoons vanilla. So now all we've got left is the honey. So it's six tablespoons of honey. So if your honey does this where it's crystallizing, it's still good. It just has been sitting in cool temperature for too long. And you just need to warm it up. Yep, you have to put it in the microwave. It doesn't need to go in the microwave for a very long, I'd say no more than 30 seconds. All right. Honey is hot, so now we should be able to squeeze it out. Okay, this is what it all looks like. All together so we're gonna put it in the mixer bring it down and we're just gonna mix okay we're gonna lift this up because we're going to scrape the edges of the mixing bowl. I try to scrape it off of here, off of our little rubber spatula onto the mixing ends so and that way it goes back into this and we don't lose as much. Okay, let's bring it back down. All 
All right, let's look at it again. Looks like it's been mixed really, really well. I just kind of push around and look, make sure there's no chunks of anything, especially that coconut oil. Nope, looks good. So we're gonna go ahead and take our end off here. All right, I'm gonna remove my bowl from my mixer. And we're gonna bring the pan over here. It's just a little bit of vegetable oil that I'm spraying in there. I would prefer Crisco, but I don't have any Crisco. So if it looks all mixed up, you're gonna go ahead and pour it right into your pan. Now this doesn't really puff up like a cake does, but it's still very delicious. The first time I made it, I also made dairy-free ice cream. And that was pretty good. I think we got everybody out and just set that in there. There we go. Okay, and now this is optional, but you can take the oats and sprinkle them on top. And it's ready for the oven. So we're gonna put it in the oven, 180 Celsius, 350 Fahrenheit for about 20 to 30 minutes. I think when I made it last time, I did it for 25 minutes and it was fine. Um, you could probably even get away with 20 minutes, especially if you're not doing it super thick. I think if you were putting that much into a smaller tin where it's gonna be taller, you're gonna to wanna to get closer to that 30 minutes, but we will see. We will come back in about 25 minutes. So while you're waiting for everything to bake, this is a good time to start cleaning everything. So I try to clean as I go most of the time, but like this would be a good time for you to wash your mixing bowl and your spatula and to start putting all of your stuff away. Okay, when your timer goes off, I have one of these. So you can poke and check. Just make sure it comes out clean. There's no liquid coming out of it. If it comes out clean, go ahead and take the cake out of the oven and here is our cake you're going to want to let it sit for a few minutes and cool off but other than that it is done it's complete so i hope you guys enjoyed this um i don't make these videos very often just when i feel like it so um just if you subscribe, then you will get notifications of whenever I do a new video. Thanks.